last event of the day and for the event itself. Um, I'm Kenny Lindholm. Uh, I had a career in the Air Force with uh, a flying career as well as uh, in flight test. And I've been with NCAR for over 25 years. And a lot of that has been with uh, weather in the cockpit, weather technology in the cockpit and various names and different uh, uh, realizations. And uh, so I'm not really an unbiased reporter here. I'm really uh, positive about it. There was a study, uh, a survey that was done in 2003 or 13 <clears throat> that asked uh, OEMs, airlines, including AOCs and uh, pilots and, um, and also ATC, as well as um, uh, uh, weather providers, what is needed for R&D uh, to support weather technology in the cockpit. And um, <clears throat> this is sort of a follow-on study to see where we are and where we go from here. And so it's, it should be fairly short. Um, the overall goals, let's see. Really to look at the gaps, benefits and impacts associated with uh, weather and technology in the cockpit. And then we're trying to relate this to decisions that the uh, pilot may have to make and cannot make because he doesn't have enough information. And also when the pilot sees things uh, en route uh, from ATC, including metering and uh, flow uh, instructions and uh, adjustments, uh, and he may not understand uh, because he doesn't see the same information that ATC sees. <laughs> and then also the, uh, uh, we hear a lot about the uh, route availability planning and what the pilot uh, can and can't do. And he doesn't quite understand why because he's not given the same information. Uh, part of this, uh, the survey is also taking a look at uh, how we're doing with turbulence guidance and eddy dissipation rate display and, um, and consistency with what ATC uh, uh, it does to them as well as consistency with the weather radar. Uh, and we've talked a little bit about this with the lapse of some of the uh, uplinked uh, composite uh, radar information that uh, the pilots have access to. And it doesn't agree with the weather radar. Uh, availability is another issue. Is it there when uh, needed to make a decision? Um, uh, the wind. Uh, that is, impacts the wind flight management uh, uh, use of winds to uh, um, uh, for flow metering and how, how that agrees with ATC. Uh, uh, parts of this, uh, the objectives here also were to take a look at takeoff and landing performance assessment, STALPA information, including runway condition and braking performance, and also icing and what uh, how that's being used in flight. Uh, the survey itself, find the, there we go. We took over a year to develop it uh, uh, for a lot of different reasons, but uh, we had a lot of help from ALPA and NBAA and the Tech Center and uh, a lot of help from the Wittig Program Office and other FAA divisions and uh, also some people from NCAR. And um, the tool that we've finally uh, used here is uh, Google Forms. It allows us to uh, collect the data automatically as it's submitted by the pilots and it reports in a format that we can use for a quick analysis. It also had a, a data and company and individual security measures to make sure that the, the data was uh, uh, kept uh, secure and uh, not uh, nobody else can access it, only us that are going to analyze it. We designed the survey using Google Forms to have a flow. So if, for example, a pilot uh, didn't have access to the Internet in the cockpit, um, he didn't have to go through the entire survey if it didn't apply to him, him or her. So we, it, it's got a very efficient flow if you had access in the, in the cockpit and you had uh, access to weather. Uh, 
then you it went through the entire survey. If you didn't have it, then we went on to some of the, out of the pilot, uh, what, what he thinks about legacy uh, capabilities. So we're in the process of uh, collecting data right now, very much a work in progress. Uh, we started collecting data on the 19th, just last week. And we've got about 42 responses as of right now. Um, that uh, the, we intend to publish a report by the end of June. And I'm already starting to look at some of the written data. And there are some things there that I think we probably uh, expected. Uh, those, it was about 50 50 uh, um, uh, as far as who has access to the internet in the on the flight deck. And uh, those who don't have access, well, you, we got a lot of good comments on legacy capabilities that I think we already understand and why we're doing a lot of this, whether technology in the cockpit. Um, I think there are a lot of comments. I mean, I just looked at them last night uh, about the complexity of some of the apps that they're asked to use, um, including some of the airline apps. And we'll, we'll be more specific after we look at the data because I want to better understand what those apps are and uh, complexity as well as well, you put more overlays on and you add more information that's difficult to interpret when you're trying to make a decision using that information. Uh, some of the other things, I think the idea of consistency uh, came up several times. And we got a lot of textual feedback from the pilots, which is a good thing. People actually sat down, took the time and write and wrote things out for us. And this is why it's gonna take some time to sort that out and try to correlate it to what they have in the cockpit and what, um, what airline capabilities there are. And we have to do this, trying to keep some of the um, proprietary information close hold. So we'll, we'll be doing that. Um, Latency, there's another comment, and we've talked about this here quite a bit. And it, come, it, uh, it boils down to um, don't give the pilots contradictory or you know, information that isn't consistent and try to expect them to make a good decision from that. And so uh, latency enters into that problem. And again, we need to better understand that. So it, it'll involve uh, reading a lot of these comments that they took the time to write for us. Uh, and that's about it. Very much in, in the beginning of this whole process. So are there any questions? This will help guide us, hopefully guide Eldridge in some of his decision-making for future work. That's it. <laughs>